Hey friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing some Super Bowl appetizer recipes so you can be prepared for your Super Bowl party coming up. I believe it's February 11th, not too far away. So I wanted to share, uh, I think I'm going to do three different recipes today. Um, at least that's the plan. <laughs> um, the first one I am going to do for you is the one that you all voted on in my community tab. I told you that I had four picked out originally, but I was only gonna do three. So the first one um, that I'm gonna do is the one that you picked, and that is the Irish nachos. I didn't know there was such a thing, <laughs> uh, but it looks delicious, so that's what we're gonna get started with first. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Joanne, I'm married. I have twin boys, Michael and Alex. They are 11, soon to be 12. My son Michael has autism and is nonverbal. I do a little bit of everything over here, but cooking and baking is definitely one of my favorites. So welcome, I hope that you will enjoy today's video and consider subscribing. If you are coming back, welcome back my friends. Now let's get this recipe started. Okay, so let's just go through the ingredients really quickly. You're going to need a bag of kettle chips. You're gonna need some chives some sour cream, cheddar cheese, some diced tomatoes, and some bacon. Whether you want bacon bits or you wanna go ahead and you know, fry up the bacon and cut it up, chop it up into pieces yourself. The recipe actually says uh, to use bacon. I'm not doing that, um, but you certainly can um, if, you know, if you prefer you know, the real bacon. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then we're going to go ahead and take your chips and layer them on a prepared baking sheet. I am lining it with a, um, a parchment paper um, just because I think it'll be, I don't know, I think it'll stay crispier. That's my hope. Okay, so I have all the potato chips layered. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, sprinkle the cheese over the potato chips. Oh my God, this is delicious. <laughs> okay. Cheese is all spread on top of the potato chips and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle the bacon bits on top as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and place them into the oven for about five minutes until the cheese is Okay, here they are, the Irish nachos. <laughs> they look pretty good. What I did was put a little dollop of sour cream, added some um, chives on top, and um, it looks good. There is actually a lot more than what is on this plate. Um, but I think this is um, really a easy Super Bowl recipe. Definitely something that you can do like <laughs> right before your party starts. Um, you can always, you know, just throw them in the oven when your guests arrive and it'll be ready to go. On to our next recipe which is going to be the pepperoni pizza sliders this is going to be with the uh, king's hawaiian rolls i love these rolls i think a lot of people love these rolls so uh hopefully it is going to be delicious i know that this is going to be the one snack that alex my son alex is going to enjoy because he loves pizza so let me go ahead and show you the rest of the greens so you're going to need a package of the hawaiian um, and Hawaiian rolls. You're gonna need some pepperoni, provolone, some shredded mozzarella, uh, some butter, because we're gonna need to melt the butter for our um, topping. You're gonna need three garlic cloves and uh, red chili flakes, oregano, and there was something else. Oh, marinara sauce, so you can dip the um, pepperoni pizza rolls in if you wish. So let me spin the camera around. Let's uh, start this recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the garlic butter. And so I can get that melted. You're gonna need 
a, um, a half a cup of butter, which is actually, I think this whole stick. Yes, it is. Okay. So you want to use a microwave safe plate. So you can go ahead and melt this. And it is going to be um, a half a teaspoon of oregano, unless you have the fresh and then you can use a uh, teaspoon. I'm never good at this, but let's just go with it. <laughs> and um, the recipe says red, red chili flakes. I don't have red chili flakes, but I have red pepper flakes, and that is what I'm going to use. <laughs> I think it'll be work out just fine. Of course, you know, if you like it a little bit hot, then I would guess you should get the chili, the chili flakes. And if I could see what I'm doing here. Okay, a little bit more, okay. You're also gonna add three cloves of garlic, um, chopped, minced, whatever you prefer. And then you're gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave and uh, start okay, melting. So now I lined a baking sheet with a little bit of foil, and you're gonna to wanna to spray it because if the cheese melts and gets on your pan, you know, that's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take the rolls, and what you wanna do is actually um, slice them in half lengthwise. So you just have like a slab of rolls. You don't want to individually cut them or anything. Um, so use a surrogated knife um, and then you're just going to really cut through the top and the bottom um, layers of the rolls. Okay, that wasn't too painful. You know that sometimes, you know, it could be, could be tricky. <laughs> At least for me. Okay, let's bring this over to the pan. Just gonna place that there. Let's check on our butter. So now we're gonna go ahead and brush the bottom of the rolls with the garlic butter. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer the provolone on top of the rolls. Too. <laughs> okay, provolone is layered. Now we're going to go ahead and start the pepper. I'm going to put a lot of pepperoni because my son loves pepperoni. <laughs> okay, so now we just got to top it with some shredded mozzarella. Mm. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. <laughs> So we have the layered provolone, pepperoni, mozzarella, and now we're going to go ahead and take the top half of the roll and just layer it on top. I think that's good, all lined up. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and just brush on the remaining garlic butter uh, just to make sure that all of the rolls are covered. all covered with the garlic butter. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna um, cover it with aluminum foil and then we're gonna bake it for about 20, 22 minutes until the cheese is melted and that is gonna be on um, 350 degrees. Okay, this is what they look like after they came out of the oven. I did cut them off into individual um, rolls. They smell, <laughs> they smell delicious. Um, I think this is good for Super Bowl Sunday. You could definitely make this ahead of time. Put it in the oven uh, right before your guests get there so the cheese is nice and melted and the sandwiches are warm and ready to go. 
And that's it, my friends, the pepperoni pizza sliders and the Irish nachos. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy your Super Bowl parties and I'll see you when I see you. Thank you for watching.